Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't identity theft. Identity theft is when you pretend to be someone you're not in any situation at all. Anytime you claim to be someone, anytime you claim their rights to their own information, their own intellectual property, their own copywritten work, their own anything, you're committing identity theft. It's also most technically a situation of fraud. You are committing fraud on a person's life. You are creating cybercrime if you're using technology or tools or internet access or backdoor access to do this. That is a federal crime. You are a foolish person and you've costed yourself in every way, shape, and form. You have no right to interfere with how someone presents himself, no right to interfere with how someone decides to put their things together, and your lie is, I'm in control of you because I have power in technology. You don't. You just costed yourself your life. You're committed cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud. Congratulations. What does that mean for your life? It means you're a loser in every way. It means you refuse to listen to God in any moment of the day, and it means you refuse to accept that you are not a God. You think you are powerful. You think you are proficient. You think you are performing, but you're not. Your productivity is harmful, and your attitude is out of this world. You really don't get who you are. You don't get that you're a child of God who can be taken, stricken, and given illness at any time by the Lord. And my guess is you already have cancer. You have cancer of the mind. You have an impoverished, thinking, childish mind saying, I'm going to do this all the time, no matter what. I'm going to delete the stuff he does. I'm going to interfere with what he does. I'm going to rearrange what he does. I'm going to ruin what he does, and I'm going to ruin me. Because that's what you're choosing. You're choosing to ruin you by harming other people. In America, we have rights, and you are violating the rights of other people. You are stealing their information, you are abusing your own life, and you're doing this all in front of a God you don't believe in, but you're trying to act like a God in someone's life, and people do not like this. So you're wanting to be unliked, you're wanting to be unloved, you're wanting to be untrusted, you're wanting to be unfounded in the belief systems you hold dear. Your belief systems are hurting you, and your belief systems are what you're trying to tout as you, but here's the deal, your belief systems for you are not belief systems of other people. And other people have the right to choose their own belief systems, their own faith systems, their own family, their own finances, their own fitness, their own fellowship, their own fun, and their own philanthropy. And if you haven't gotten this, then you have failed yourself.